we're going to do the Lewis structure of beryllium hydride. Beryllium is a metal from group two of the periodic table, an alkaline earth metal. And hydrogen is a non-metal. Despite the fact that it's here with the alkali metals, that's just for organizational purposes. Hydrogen itself is a non-metal. I'm pointing over here because that's where all the other non-metals are. When you combine a metal and a non-metal, you end up with an ionic compound. It's going to be a transfer of electrons from the metal to the non-metal. The metal here is beryllium in group two. So we're going to start with a Be beryllium atom and two valence electrons. Now hydrogen is in group one of the periodic table. So we're going to draw an H with one valence electron. Now, ionic is a transfer of electrons from metal to nonmetal. So this beryllium is going to donate an electron to hydrogen. You will now have a pair of electrons around that hydrogen atom. A hydrogen with two electrons around it, that's one more than it brought, makes it the hydride anion. So that H is done. H does not follow the octet rule, it follows something else called the doublet rule. It's happy with just two electrons around it. So what can this Be do with its extra valence electron? Well, the answer is a second hydrogen with its one electron will happily accept that other electron. Now Be has given away both of its electrons. That means our complete Lewis structure has a beryllium atom with no valence electrons drawn around it and a plus two charge because it gave away two negatively charged electrons. And then we also have to draw these hydride anions, that's an H, with the one electron it brought and the one that it took from beryllium. And that's a minus one charge because it has an extra electron. And you have to draw two of them because you needed two hydrogens to accept both of the electrons. So. This is the complete Lewis structure for beryllium hydride. This here is showing you how it happened. Thanks for sticking with me there, and best of luck.